Cinderella. There was once a rich man who lived with his daughter, who was kind and sweet and good. But one day he married again, a mean woman who had two daughters a little older than his own. They made his daughter work hard all day long and sleep in the dust at night. And because she was always dirty with cinders, they called her Cinderella. One day, a messenger arrived, announcing news from the king. There was going to be a grand ball for the prince. All the young ladies in the country were invited, so that the prince could choose a girl to marry. The two stepsisters were delighted and immediately started to order Cinderella about brush my hair, iron my dress. When they were ready, they flounced off with their mother, leaving Cinderella behind. She was so disappointed that she sat down and cried. Suddenly, there was a golden sparkle in the air, and a kind-looking old lady appeared. She had glittery wings and a wand. Cinderella, I am your fairy godmother. She said, "I know you are sad. What is it you would like?" Cinderella sat up and said, "I would like to go to the ball." And you shall," said the fairy godmother. She twirled her wand, and when Cinderella looked down, she was wearing a beautiful dress and sparkling glass slippers. Then the fairy godmother waved her wand at a large pumpkin, and it turned into a beautiful coach. She waved her wand again at some white mice running around outside, and they turned into six splendid white horses. Go and enjoy yourself. The fairy godmother said, "But remember one thing: you must leave before midnight, as the spell will end as the clock strikes twelve." Cinderella thanked her, climbing into the coach and sped off to the ball. When she arrived in the ballroom, everyone was dancing. Cinderella looked lovely, and everyone gazed at her. Nobody could recognize her, not even her stepmother or stepsisters. The prince took her by the hand and danced with her all evening. At the end of the night, the prince said, "I have been falling in love with you. Will you marry me?" Cinderella was just about to say yes when she heard the clocks beginning to strike twelve. She turned and ran from the palace, but in her haste, she lost one of her glass slippers as she was running down the stairs. As Cinderella reached her coach, the spell ended. Only a pumpkin remained. She ran home quickly to make sure she was back before the others. The next day, the prince sent out a message saying that he would marry the owner of the glass slipper. He visited every house in the land, but no girl could make her foot fit into the tiny shoe. Finally, he arrived at Cinderella's house. The two stepsisters tried to squeeze their feet into the slipper, but it was no good. Do you have any other daughters? The prince asked Cinderella's father. Well, yes, one other," he said nervously. Cinderella sat down and put her foot into the slipper, which fitted perfectly. "This is my love," the prince said. Then he took Cinderella up on his horse and rode away with her, and they lived happily ever after. The end.